So what is the greenfield implementation for S4? That you want to jump into S4 HANA. Right now you are into any SAP or non SAP product. Non SAP product, you can be on Oracle. You can be on JDA. You can be on Bond System. You can be on ACPAC. You can be on System 7. You can be on Microsoft Dynamics, giving some examples which I have experienced when we move to the Greenfield implementation. You are into the SAP products. You are into R2, R3, or different version of ECCs you are in. So either you are into the SAP products or non-SAP products, and you want to move to S4 HANA. So you can move ahead with the Greenfield implementation approach. Greenfield implementation. What Greenfield implementation means, we would be considering that this S4 HANA system is a new system. We will not bring anything from the legacy system. Means we will be bringing it, but it will not be directly, technically directly coming to the S4 HANA. What happens in S4 HANA implementation? We will be having all the phases of the implementation. We will try to understand what business requirements are there. Based on that, we'll try to understand what is enterprise structure required. The enterprise structure configuration would be done in the system. Then you will be doing all the another configurations which is required. Company code level configuration, client level configurations, plant level configurations, you would be doing it. Then we'll be writing a custom code, Z customizations. or your rice of w's we will be doing okay so when we have done this part our core product is ready then we would be bringing data into it okay we would be bringing the data and to bring the data we would be bringing this data from sap and non sap system let's say we would be downloading the data they are they're bringing the data there can be multiple approach approaches you can download the data into the excel sheets you can improve the data, okay, as per the S4 HANA requirements. You can improve or you can enrich the data as per the S4 HANA requirements. And then we will be using a tool called HANA Migration Cockpit to load the data into S4 HANA. What data can be there? The data can be there, your uh, master data at this point of time, your material your vendors, your customers, and all other master data, bill of materials, work center, cost center, GL accounts, everything will be loading into the system. There would be some data which would be coming from the Excel download, will be downloading from the legacy system, materials we already have, customer we already have, vendor we already have, will be downloading, will be enriching the data. And there would be some things which data which you will not be having in your legacy system, Okay, that manually uh, Excel template would be filled by the end users, getting it improved, and then it will upload to the HANA migration cockpit to S4 HANA. This way, the, the data, the master data will come. Once the master data is come, maybe from the same approach, you would also be bringing, you would also be bringing, with the same approach, you would also be bringing Open transaction. Open transaction is your open purchase orders, open sales orders, open uh, uh, GL balances. Okay. Those open transactions would also be brought to S4 HANA. When this is done, then we will completely cut off the legacy system and we'll be going ahead with the S4 HANA system. In these things, you need to notice whatever the configurations are here in your system, we are not bringing no configurations. If you have done any kind of uh, customization, Z customization, that also we are not bringing it here. If you are having any kind of historical transaction data, your closed purchase orders, your closed production orders, earlier sales orders, that also we are not bringing. So no configurations, no custom code, no historical data. 
only the open transactions and only the master data we bring it. There are multiple options to bring the master data or the open transaction. I have shown you the approach with HANA migration cockpit. Some people also still using LSMW also. LSMW can also be used in S4 HANA, although not recommended. LSMW can be used to load the data or we also have some different approaches. We, I have assigned you a HANA migration cockpit course as a complimentary 10 hours course. So there you will see that the different approaches are there within HANA migration cockpit also. If you are working on ECSE, there is an option to do a direct data transfer. I will not talk, talk about this option now because this can be done within HANA migration cockpit. The, our, that is our migration training with the uh, migration training, which has been already assigned to you. It's a self-paced 10 hour course, complete different course I have set it up for the migration. You can go through, you will find it out the different approaches for HANA migration cockpit and how the data can be shifted with HANA migration cockpit. Direct data transfer is the approach which came three years ago or uh, yeah, three years ago, and we can also do the transfer from that. We can also use, if it is a SAP or known SAP use system, we can also use business object data services. It's a separate product, BODS. With, with HANA migration cockpit or with, without HANA migration cockpit, we can use it and the data can be transferred to S4 HANA. Right? So that would be our greenfield implementation. We are implementing a system from scratch. We don't bring any configuration, Z customization or historical data from our existing system and we are building a new system from scratch. It's like building a new home. When you build a new home, you need to make sure that you dig it, you put the concrete, you made the base, you put the walls, but sometimes that, okay, the furniture, I can bring it from my old house. The people, who, I, don't, I don't have a new wife, new kids, right? The people I would be bringing from the old house to the new house. But the full infrastructure, okay, the everything would be the new. You can decide some furniture you want to put it new, some furniture you want to put it old. So that would be the difference. We are building a complete new house in case of uh, greenfield implementation. Okay. Oh, 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 oh,